Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, we are going to talk about private school in the Dominican Republic. But more specific, we're going to focus in private school in the Santo Domingo area. But pay attention to the end because I also going to give information about a school in other areas of the island. So before we get started, I want to say that we do have a public school system here in the Dominican Republic, but I don't want to spend too much time in it because I don't recommend it and it's for two reasons. The first one is because our school system lack of resources and the curriculum is not that good. And the second reason is because most people that move here to the country want to put their kids into bilingual school. So our public school system, it is free. And you know, the first language is Spanish and it's mandatory, but it's not enforced. And for you to assist to the public school here, you have to use uniform, that is mandatory. But like I said before, on today's video, we are going to focus it in private school. Here are some general information about private school here in the Dominican Republic. The private school here teach English, but for the most part, they are bilingual and tuition fee changes from school to school. And the average cost for this tuition fee is $7,000 per academic year. And the price of the tuition fee changes from the age of the child. As the general rule is, the older the child is, the higher the tuition is. Some schools charge additional fees for launches, uh, uniform, books, and other materials. But for my experience, let me tell you about my experience when I was uh, trying to find a school for my daughter, which in that uh, time, she was seven years old. Now she's eight, that was uh, the last year, for this year's school. And I was finding a school that I like, that the tuition fee was $3,000 um, for a tuition. And so that will give you an idea of how much you can pay or you can find a school because you can find a school with different uh, tuition. So, but you have to keep in mind there will be something probably between the 3,000 and 7,000, depending on what school you choose at the age and the age of your child. And the reason that we didn't put our daughter to school this year, well, it is two reasons. The first reason is because she is not a naturalized Dominican citizen yet and we didn't have the right paperwork to put it in the school this year. And the several reason is that now that she was going to second grade, we felt that now she speak and understand fully Spanish, but we felt that she don't know how to write it and read it very well. So we thought that she was going to probably behind and it was going to be too much work for her. So what we felt is that at some point at this year, we're going to get her a tutor. That way she can go to speed for just in case the next, next year we wanted to put her in a regular school. We haven't made that decision yet. But if we decide to put her in a school, then she is be able to understand, uh, speak and also write and read all. She can go all of the speed to go into a regular school here in the Dominican Republic. So here are some of the things that you will need if you kids are not a Dominican citizen. And those requirements that I'm going to tell you are required by the school board. No any particular uh, private school or public school is the school board that they're going to require you that and that they will have to approve for your child to go and try to register your kids to an, any school. And that is that you will have to get their birth certificate and uh, that has to be translated to Spanish and that has to be apostled and certified by uh, the state, wherever you come from. And also your school record, it has to be translated and also it has to be a certified and apostled. And those are the requirements that they need for the school board for them to sign for your child to go to school. So I'm just going to touch very brief to the process that I am right now with my daughter and get her to be a citizen of the Dominican Republic. So what I have to do is I have to order her birth certificate to be apostle and certified. I already did that and the way that I did it was online. There are agencies in the United States that you can order this process if they do all that for you. And it took me less than a week. I ordered in about five days, they ship it to me here in the Dominican Republic. So the only thing that I have to do right now is take it to my lawyer and they will do this process for 25,000 pesos, which is about 450 US. Of course, it's this much because she's a daughter of a Dominican uh, citizen. If you kids are known, kids of Dominican citizen, probably the cost will be more because of course it's gonna vary from lawyer to lawyer and also because the process will be longer and it will take uh, more steps to get you a citizen or your kids. 
And they told me this process will take around 30 to 45 days for her to get her Dominican birth certificate. So now I want to spend the rest of the video talking about five private bilingual schools. And this school, I am kind of familiar with them, that I hear about it, I hear people talking about. So we went by these five schools. Yeah, I want to give you a little information about it. And also at the end, remember, I'm gonna add additional information about other school here in Santo Domingo, also other school around uh, other cities in the Dominican Republic. So let's start with the first school, St. George. St. George is located in San Piantini in Calle Porfirio Herrera, number six. This school, for you to get the tuition, you will have to inquire at a school. And this school is offered accreditation from different programs, for example, like CIS, and the ESOL program. And the next school is St. Michael. St. Michael School is also located in Piantini and tuition rates are required also at a school. This is a US style college prep and is ranked from first to 12th grade. In order for you to graduate from this school, it's required for you to pass certain courses and 60 hours of community service and also it is accredited by different associations. The next one is New Horizon Bilingual School. About this particular school, I have heard a lot about this school and it's located in Avenue Sarasota in Bella Vista. Tuition is also required at the school. This school provides a bilingual Spanish-English that offers from 1st to 12th grade U.S. curriculum and is also credited by different agencies. And the next school is Carol Morgan. And I have been told this is the most expensive school here in the Dominican Republic. It is located in Avenida Sarasota and Núñez de Cáceres. And also tuition is inquired at a school. This school also offers an American College Prep curriculum. And it also is evaluated by different agencies. And the last one is the Colegio Dominico Americano. Colegio Dominico Americano is located in Abraham Lincoln and tuition is also inquired at a school. This a college offer different type of uh, program, I will say. They have a college building, they have a high school building, and they also have a building that is just for uh, to learn English. I have been hearing about this college since I was younger here in the Dominican Republic, and the only thing that I knew about it was that they offer uh, English classes. I thought that was the only thing they did, but now I found out that they are also a college. They offer a uh, regular high middle school and also they have a college building. So they have three buildings. They have a building where they just teach English. They have another uh, building that they are from high middle school and they have another building that is for college. But that building that is for college, they just offer a few careers. It's known they have all the careers that you want to do. They have a few careers that they offer in that school. And here are five of the schools that are located here in the Santo Domingo. And like I say, I'm also going to put on the bottom of this video other schools that are around the Santo Domingo area and also other schools that are in other cities of the island. And also I'm going to ask some uh, associations that they, you hear me mention some schools they have associations. Uh, I'm going to add all on the bottom. That way, if you are looking for any specific association, you can see it on the bottom and also you can see the meaning right here so that is all what i have for right now thank you for watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also share and if you already have experience if you are a mother or you and or somebody they already have kids or living with people that are already from another country that i'm here that you have already going to the process to go into a school if you want to share your experience and probably some other things that i didn't mention it because i don't know please share it with us that way we can learn from you. For people that are trying to move, or for myself that are trying to put my daughter to school. So that is all what I have for right now. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.